welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a little visitor with me here in the background, so I hope you will um, forgive the occasional cough. My youngest is home school, is home from school because she's a little bit under the weather. So she said she's going to color while I film. So sorry if you hear a little bit of that in the background. But today I wanted to film really quickly and go over some new skincare products that I have been using lately and really enjoying. Some of them, okay, a couple things. Some of them I have been using longer than others and some of them were sent to me. I will always down in the description box where I always list and link the products that I talk about and the products I'm wearing. I will always put a couple of asterisks next to the products that were sent to me um, so that you're never wondering, did she get that for free? Did she buy it with her own money? I feel like that's the easiest way to convey to you what I received for no money and what I spent my own money on. Now, no matter what, I don't care if I spent my own money on it. I don't care if it was sent to me for free. I am always going to be 150% honest with you. I think it works of whether um, I like it, whether I don't like it, uh, whether I think it's worth your hard earned money. I just, I mean, I don't do this, this being my YouTube channel, except for to like converse with y'all, tell y'all about new products, and I'm gonna be truthful about it. So I know there's a lot of non-truths going on in the YouTube world right now, but it's not gonna come from me. All right, so let's step into what I have got. The majority of the products I have gotten, um, I am using in my morning skincare routine. And I think I've got a hair sticking up. So I'm gonna kinda go in order of how I use them so that it's a little bit easier for me to keep track of what I've talked about and what I haven't. I'm not sure which one of you commented um, about telling me to check out a channel here on YouTube by the name of Gothamista. I will link that down below if I remember. I hope to goodness I remember. But that's the name of it is Gothamista. And she is um, a very beautiful girl who talks a lot about, I don't want to say girl, lady, who talks a lot about Japanese skincare, Korean skincare. Um, and I had mentioned wanting to kind of get more into that and someone directed me to her, love her. And she recommended a couple of these products that I got, actually all three of them that I got from Mimi Box. The first one is the Ulu Dr. O. Kim's Orchid Toner. So it looks like this. If you can see, it's got this beautiful orchid flower floating in there. It's got a very, very, very small tint of pink slash purple to it. But really, once you put it, I think that might be the bottle, actually. Because once you put it onto a cotton pad, it does not portray that color. Now, this does claim to be a anti-aging, wrinkle-fighting toner. I don't know how much I believe a toner can actually reduce wrinkles or fight aging, but I do feel like this is super natural feeling. It's got a very nice floral scent, and I don't usually like floral scents, so this is very nice. It doesn't linger. It feels moisturizing going on your face. As far as I know, this does not have alcohol in it. However, the website does not tell me for sure. And I can't read this. It's all in Korean. So it does not feel like it has alcohol in it because it is a very refreshing, moisturizing feel. And normally alcohol toners leave my skin feeling tight. So I am enjoying that. Now the next thing I do is kind of like an essence. I'm trying to put more of those into my... Um, routine per se and this is by a company called Q Labo and it's a natural science skincare they're based um it's Swiss skincare and I guess they their claim is they tend to get a lot of things from the Swiss Alps a lot of their ingredients it is an all natural fragrance free alcohol free it's been tested on a lot of people for sensitive skin um line per se and this is their complete moisture treatment um sensitive skin free friendly fragrance free and it says to apply it after cleansing to prepare your skin for your daily beauty regimen that's why i'm using this for, as an essence because that's essentially what an essence does however this is very it's got a very i hope you can see that gel like consistency super moisturizing I really like to put this on my face. I just feel like it gives a little bit of extra plumpness to my face, which is which is exactly what I want in the mornings. 
um, before I put my makeup on. So I have really been enjoying this. I've been using this for probably three weeks now. So I've got a good feel on it and I do like it. This next step in my morning routine that I would get to that's new is a vitamin C serum. Now this one, it was sent to me and I cannot say that I would spend the money on it when I'm done. And I'll say that because it comes in this size. This is a half ounce. This is the Power Dose C from Dr. Brandt. Age Fighter Vitamin C Serum for Skin, 20% Vitamin C, which is a very high dosage, I will say. This is tiny. It came with some, I don't know if that's how all of them come, but they were. it was kind of some out of it at the top. It says to use four drops on your face. You can either mix it in with moisturizer or put it directly on your face. I put it directly on my face. Um, and it's fine. I have not had any adverse reactions to it. It is a vitamin C, which I think is absolutely crucial in anybody's skincare regimen. But I just feel like it's, I'm going to use it in like three weeks, maybe. And it's $68, if I'm correct. I'm putting everything down in the, right here on the screen somewhere for you to see. But that's just insane amount for the price. And if I remember my um, reviews correctly, I think the ones that I looked at on Sephora were the same thing. This is a great product. I love what it does for my skin, but it's way overpriced. So I just, I don't know if I can see myself spending $68 on that, but I do like it. All right, the next step is a moisturizer, and this is a new moisturizer I'm using in the morning. I like a more lightweight moisturizer under my makeup. I do the heavy night creams and stuff at night. So this is from the same brand, Culabo, and it is their Collagenerous Advanced Youth Rejuvenator time travel for skin in 15 days. Now it claims that it helps boost collagen and is very anti-aging, very moisturizing. It's got niacinamides, it's got hyaluronic acid. It's got all the good stuff that you need for moisture and it's very lightweight. I don't wanna waste it because I really am enjoying it. But if you see right there, like when I first got it, I almost thought that it was a serum of a sort. And then when I looked more and researched more on the website, I realized that it was supposed to be, from what I gather, a lightweight moisturizer. So that's how I started using it. And it feels, it almost has a cooling effect to it. I'm really impressed with this stuff from Culabo. Like I had never heard of it. They did reach out to me and send this to me. I'd never heard of it, but I'm impressed so far. If, if for nothing else, for its moisturizing properties, because it is very moisturizing. Okay. The next thing in the morning is eye cream. Um, I got this from Mimi Box as well. This is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. And it says it's a wrinkle improvement functional premium cosmetic, which contains lots of fermented stuff <laughs> and ceramide ingredients. It helps to prevent, prevent your skin damage and relieve skin irritations and stress. So I got this off the recommendation of Gotham Mister as well. And she was talking about how it's really important to have some kind of fermented skincare product in your skincare regime because it kind of works. And I mean, it doesn't sound appetizing by any means, but it kind of works like a probiotic in where the fermentation of a probiotic helps like kill the bad bacteria, but um, kind of increase the good bacteria in your system. And I think that's kind of like what the fermented ingredients in this is supposed to do which is why it says that it does help prevent your skin from damage and relieve skin irritation and stress. It is a, it's a cream. It's not the most moisturizing eye cream that I have ever used. However, I do find it works well under my concealer, which you know I've been struggling trying to find. Um, it blends out nice. I don't know if you can see. It just feels really good. I've been using it, I've, I've only been using it for about a week, but so far I really do enjoy it. And this is not too new. It's a new kind. This is my skincare, or not skincare, my SPF, which is the final step in my morning routine. And this is the Elta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44. This is the newest addition to their sunscreen line. And I have been using Elta MD for years now, probably like two years. Love their SPF ingredients. But this, apparently, it's tinted, which is my favorite kind of SPF from them. Um, and apparently, you can't see, but apparently it helps fight the elements of the day, kind of like a vitamin C serum would. Um, it helps just kind of prevent the free radicals in the air from the pollution and stuff like that, as well as giving you an all day long lasting SPF of 44. 
just I love everything from Elta MD. All right, so that wraps up my morning skincare. Now let's quickly get on to my nighttime skincare that I bought that's new. I feel like I've been talking forever. I did get one more thing from Mimi Box. This is the Galactomyces Special Treatment Essence. It comes in a bottle like this. I am putting, like I said, all the prices down here, but you'll see that a lot of this stuff is very reasonable in price. And I also, I feel like Mimi Box is always running some kind of special. I got these, everything I bought 20% off. Um, so I feel like it's very affordable. This is again an essence. So I use it after my toner, before my serums. Very, this one is very watery, unlike the one from Qlabo. Um, and I don't rub it in so much as I press it in, kind of like an oil. Um, and I just, I mean, I like it again, the Mimi box stuff I've only been using for about a week, but so far I like it and I will keep you up to date. It's claims that in the promise of 30 days on the 10th day, you will see improved skin texture on the 20th day, all your troubled skin will be removed. And on the 30th day, you'll, you will see brilliant brightening effects. So I don't know. It was very reasonably priced and I look, they put the, um, expiration date on the bottom. I like that. I just, I'm really am enjoying that. Okay, two more new things. The next one is an oil. And I will say, um, I kind of been doing my oils a little bit differently now. And I am loving it. I am a part of a skincare group of estheticians. I know, I'm not an esthetician. Although, lately I've been really itching to go back to school to be one. Not be one, but to have my license. I don't know why. I think I'm just addicted to school, y'all. Really, I think it's a, it's a thing. I'm 36 and I've been to like... Makeup school, master's degree, undergrad degree. Now I want to go to S. It's just, it's a thing. Back to the oil. I'm on this group on Facebook and an esthetician leads it up and she is super knowledgeable in skincare. And she always recommends putting your oil underneath your moisturizer. Now I've always been told to press it on top of your moisturizer because it can penetrate your moisturizer, whereas your moisturizer cannot penetrate your oil. Um, she says to put the oil on first that there are some particles that cannot penetrate a moisturizer and the moisturizer will help lock in the oil. Um, so that's what I've been doing and I've been doing with this new oil that I was sent. This is the Julie Hewitt Organic Camellia Oil. So it just comes in a basic dropper dark bottle, which I appreciate. It's one ounce and I think, again, I'll look it up, but I think it's like $24, which is really quite affordable for an oil. So camellia oil, I had to look it up because I know there's a lot of benefits to it. Um, it has oleic acid, vitamins A, B, D, and E, as well as omega-3, 6, and 9. The molecular weight of the oil is an almost identical match for skin, allowing it to absorb quickly and thoroughly. It has a lot of moisturizing benefits. It has a lot of antioxidant benefits. Um, and I have been, again, Pressing this onto my skin, I rotate it with my marula oil and my phoenix oil from herbivore, and then I put my moisturizer on, and I have to say, I like it way better than the other method of doing it. I feel like it just works better for my skin. I have very um, smooth and almost radiant skin when I wake up, when I do it that way, and I just, I love it. So the last thing is a new eye cream that I bought from IS Clinical, and it's the Youth Eye Complex. It's a medical grade skincare company. I wanted to try it. The only thing I don't like about it is the pump sticks sometimes. And by the time you actually get it to not stick, it pumps out probably three times as much product as you need. And for something that's, what, 70 something dollars, probably 80, maybe 90, I don't remember how much I paid for this, it should not do that. So I don't know that I'm going to repurchase after that simply for the packaging because um, I just don't like wasting my money on that. So that's all the new skincare that I've gotten. I've, I'm afraid this is going to be a pretty long video. Again, it wasn't so much a review, although I did re tell you some of my thoughts on the products, as much as what I've been using that's new. So if you want to know in depth on anything else, let me know. Let me know if you've gotten any new skincare stuff lately. Um, I'm always on the lookout for it. And thank you to whoever recommended Gothamista to me because she is feeding and fueling my skincare obsession and I love it. So thank you all so very much. I will be back next week with um, a couple more videos and then it's Christmas, which is crazy to me. I'm about to go downstairs and start wrapping some presents. So I thank you all so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all have a very blessed day.